What's up guys? Got a Image Writer LQ by Apple here. And what it is, it's a dot matrix printer. It's super old, but what it does is it prints a it's basically a 2D printer with the X, Y, and the Z axis. The Z axis here being a pen that lowers itself that goes up and down. And that's the part that actually uh, draws the picture. We have a we have a X axis, which is in this case uh, it's this roller right here, and it moves the paper forwards and backwards. We have a Y axis, and what the Y axis does is it moves the the printer head left and right move this back okay the whole thing well the printing aspect of it is powered by an Arduino Nano you can see the little blue LED it's just that little tiny thing we have three motor drivers we have they're the red ones with uh, with the heat sinks on top of them. They get pretty hot. We have a LM35 temperature sensor. You may not be able to see it, but it's it's this this little black. Uh, there's three wires attached to it. You can kind of see it's kind of reflecting, uh, reflecting the the red light. That's pretty much it. Then we have a 420 watt power supply that's powering the entire thing other than the than the PC that sends the code I have an extra Arduino attached here which is the the red board from SparkFun electronics and what it controls is it controls an LCD a 16 by 2 LCD and that should this one displays the temperature uh, we have a Another LCD over here which shows uh, the printing process, so it will say things like initializing or if the temperature on, on this LCD is getting too hot, this one will uh, show that it's getting hot or overheating and it shows the status of the printing job. We have a small potentiometer that display that changes the, the lighting of the LCDs, a small piezo transistor that makes a really annoying noise when... Uh, when the motor drivers start overheating have an art little RGB LED over here that it's solid green when it's uh, when it's printing but when it starts overheating it starts turning a uh, blue and red color but right now I'm having a, a few issues with it where it's actually green or it's actually blue when it's actually uh, fine and uh, we have a uh, Sentry 2 NZXT fan controller and this really helps with the uh, with the cooling uh, let's see anything else I guess not all right let's turn this on and see how it works so I'm not running any kind of drawing on here right now but you can see that the red board is working it's on it's displaying the temperatures in degrees and in Celsius, so the RGB LED is actually working right now. And what it and what it does is, uh, it sh it's a solid green color when uh, when the 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 temperature is under 25 degrees Celsius. But right now it's kind of not working exactly correctly. It's showing a blue color, and I might have accidentally broke the code on the status display on this LED, which I have to fix. It's not really showing anything. You can see I'm, I'm changing the, the contrast with the potentiometer over here. I'm not actually doing anything. Just showing a bunch of squares. Let's change this. Yeah, yeah this looks fine. And then we have this uh, fan controller. I chose not to connect any kind of sensors to it because that's basically what this uh, LCD does. Oh, it's, showing, it's actually showing a value. I didn't actually connect anything. It might be the the moisture in the air because it's raining outside right now. And so uh, I only have one fan connected here, which you can see is this one right here. It's got some LEDs in it. And so with the fan controller, what I could do is I could change the the speed. So for example, if the temperature over here is getting too hot 
for example, more than 25 degrees, but it's really, it's really cold outside right now. So it shouldn't do that. But when it does change, I can change the speed and that will affect the temperature reading and it will generally cool down the, the motor drivers that get super hot. Okay, we have the paper here. All right, the controlling aspect of it is what I got here is this app called Universal G-Code Sender. You might not be able to see it because uh, the border is black, but that's what it is. I have the I have the the printer open, the Arduino that's connected to the to the actual the Arduino Nano that's connected to the drivers is open right now. I open it. So let's go to file mode. I've created a picture that I want to do. So I think this is the one I wanted. Yeah. Click open. So this is file mode. So we'll send a, a prepared.ngc file, which is basically an SVG, .svg extension picture, but with all the paths already created for the printer to be printed. Sorry for the shaking. Alright, send. Oops. Forgot to do one thing. One thing. I have to go to... Well, let me see here. Let's close this. One thing I forgot to do is uh, to create an origin point for the printer to start out, start out from. So let's see, the reset zero. Let's check on the printer to make sure that this is correctly set up. So the pen has to be lowered. Let's turn this off. I don't want to burn the motors or have any kind of feedback. Lower the pen all the way. All right, turn it on. power supply here that just flick the switch and everything turns on oh yeah one issue of note is there's a inside of here there's a spindle that controls the x-axis and for I don't know if you could see it on the camera you can see the little edge of it but there's a little rod and it's misaligned with this hole right here which has a knob that you that attaches and you spin it to control the to manually control the x-axis I don't know if anyone knows this but I'm not sure how to have it realigned at this center hole right here all right, well, anyways, let's close this. Can you open it, refresh it. Open. Error opening. Support is non use. Please use it for your different names. Oh, that basically means I have to unplug it. Plug it back in. Usually fixes it. This is some pretty old technology here. Refresh it. Go to file mode. Open. Okay, it's fine now. So, one thing I forgot to do is change the origin point where the pen will actually start. So, this is going to be reset zero. Job completed with error. Sorry for the Facebook messengers. Let me turn the sound off. Alright. So, I'll reset this to zero, which, uh, uh, which creates an origin point for the pen to start printing at. And then I go to file mode. I already have the file selected. And I'll click send. It skips a whole bunch of commands. Not sure why, but it still prints out the picture. So let's see what, what it's doing right now. Here it is drawing a straight line. So, oh, I forgot to show what the picture is. Let me show you. So let me see here. Picture should be in here. Pictures. I made a folder called I think it was dot yeah, NGC, there it is. And so let's see. Let's see what the picture is gonna look like. So I have here, which is uh, drawing of Hobbes from the cartoon Calvin and Hobbes. This is this is probably one of my all-time favorite comics that I've ever read. And so I'll draw a picture 
Well, the printer will draw a picture of Hobbes, and you can see all the paths are already created here. And what I did to make the paths was I used a program called Inkscape. And it has an extension called or extension called G Code Tools, which converts the the paths that I created in the Inkscape app into an NGC file folder. And so let's check what it looks like so far. I set the print speed really low, and uh, the reason for that is because uh, if it's too fast, uh, the the motor start uh, stuttering so I have over here I don't know if you can see but you can see the edge over here I have a stepper motor right here it's pretty big and I have another one that controls the the uh, th let me see what this one this one controls the x-axis and there's another one under this right here that controls the y-axis and here is part of the picture being printed this looks like this looks like a the back and the tail and uh, the one issue that I have with setting it to such a low print speed is that, is that it, it can stutter sometimes and then but and it also significantly increases the the print time of the picture. So I think for this one I think for this one it was supposed to be thirty minutes. I think you heard that sound, that little beeping sound they made which uh, shows that it went over 25 degrees Celsius but then it instantly dropped back down. Anything on this LCD? No, still nothing. Yeah, I gotta fix that one. And I have to fix this RGB LED which is giving me some issues because this is right now it's supposed to be a green color but I don't know if you can tell but it's actually blue right now. Now it's green. This, this has to be fixed. Um, let's see how long the print cycle is supposed to take. So we got here, estimated time remaining, 25 minutes. Right now it's been three minutes since the print started.